If you guys want to pick yourself up some coins for the upcoming team of the season, then check out ufever.com in the description down below. If you use discount code KURT5, you get a whopping 8% off amazing discount right there. And also, they're very, very cheap for PlayStation coins right now. So check them out in the link down below. If you guys are looking to pick yourself up some cheap Microsoft points, PSN cards for the new team of the season coming out soon, check out G2A.com. Also, if you want to get some cheap PC games, they're perfect for it. Check the links in the description down below. Cheap for football managers, CSGO, and all that great stuff. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new overpriced versus affordable. Today we have one that I was so excited to actually record. We managed to get our hands on the man of the match right wing Messi. He hasn't had a right wing card in so long. So when he finally got one, I could not wait to get my hands on him. And we're comparing him with Iturbe. I will explain why as we go through. But what I do want to say is if we could smash 400 likes in this episode, guys, that would be absolutely amazing. Also, if it is your first time watching this channel, go ahead and smash that like button. So... Let's look at this, some of their details. Now, Messi's price range is 1.5 to 2.2 million on Xbox, whereas it's 8.8 .8 to 13.2 million on PlayStation. But right now, that's still like 20 quid for both prices. So as, as pretty, it's not too bad. He's pretty affordable. Then we have his quality. I've given Messi a 5-star quality and in turn a 4-star quality, and both a 4-star value for money. Now, um, I'm thinking it like in turn a... I'm going to explain it as we go through. I will, I will get back to that because I feel like we, we need longer to explain it. So I will quickly show you as well. This is the squad I used Messi in. I used a pretty similar one with Iturbe as well. Just a couple extra uh, Argentinians. But an amazing squad and an amazing record he had. So... The thing about Messi, I feel right now, most players are kind of affordable. The only thing that makes Messi tricky is that he's just so extinct. Now, 1.5 to 2.2 mil for this Messi card is actually quite good. Now, Iturbe being 150 to 5,000 as well, like, it, it's just okay. Like, it's all right. Like, prices kind of, I feel like they're irrelevant now. But... You wouldn't believe just how close I actually found these two players to be. So despite Messi having a 19 rating uh, boost over a turbo, and also the total card stats, Messi has 483. So you add all his stats on the cards up and it's 483. A turbo has 97 less with 386. However, using these two players, I, I, I didn't find... To, now watch this shot. This shot here is the main difference I found between them. I felt like on the right wing, where they're getting, and, and the same in right forward, where they're getting involved a little bit less than they would in a striker, doing less sort of things, I feel like these players were so similar. Now, they both have three-star weak foot, both have four-star skill moves, both left-footed, both have their attacking work rate one better than their defensive work rate. They're both, well, once Messi's 5'6", Iturbe's 5'7", they are so similar in so many ways, and... I feel like the only thing Messi had over him was his long shots. Now, Messi's finishing is 99, Iturbe's is 64. But you see in so many of these, Iturbe was getting into great positions. Now, his dribbling was just amazing. And he was just putting all those shots into the bottom corner, as you see there. Every time I had an effort with Iturbe, it went in. His ball control and dribbling was 81 and 84. But I felt like the four-star skills was big enough of an effect that Iturbe was actually really solid. Now... The only difference between these two is like the really outlandish thing. So Messi's free kicks are sensational. His long shots are sensational. Even his heading is pretty good. He's got 92 heading, which I mean, that's fair enough. But almost everything else, I felt like these two were just the same. They're both ridiculously quick. They're both amazing on the ball. They've both got four-star skills. They're both Their strength's a bit disappointing, but it's just kind of enough. They've both got really good agility. In Turbo there, you saw him hold off a defender and, uh, and just outmuscle him completely. Now... I actually couldn't believe how similar I found these two players to be. But like I said, the only reason why Messi is any better, and I mean, you would expect him to be better, but it's so slim. The only reasons why he's better is those couple of extra, like, just special things where free kicks, his curve, his crossing, his long shots, the little things where a lot of players just don't have it. He obviously smashes out of the park, but everything else, the general stuff that you want from your right winger, these guys are very, very close. Now, Messi obviously was so fun to use, but I really, really enjoyed using a turbo too. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Overpriced vs. Affordable, though. I have one coming up with re uh, Record Breaker Ronaldo. I just need to find someone to compare him to because I honestly don't have a clue. So if you have any suggestions for who I should compare Record Breaker Ronaldo to, please comment that in the, in the comments down below. Have a fantastic day, though, guys. My new series launches tomorrow at 10am, so make sure you're ready for it and I will see you all next time. Bye bye guys!